Hi Aries, welcome to what's happening with the X. This is for the week of the 29th. So we're gonna take a look at the current situation of where the X partner is. And um, we'll look at some other aspects as well. So we have the Seven of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Hierophant. The Seven of Wands is about standing up for what you believe in. And right now, they're getting ready. They aren't there yet, but they are looking at actually standing up for what they believe in, which is you. They believe in love. Now, what you didn't know, or you may have, but this is the Three of Cups. Now, this can indicate joy, happiness, celebration. But what I'm hearing is the reason they pulled away is they were not emotionally over a relationship. They hadn't healed from a prior relationship, so they withdrew. And the reason they also pulled away, the Hierophant is about standing strong in traditions and values, but it also is about status quo. It's about the people in their surroundings. So even though they may have not been over another person in their life, they have healed from that person. They're not physically, nor were they. So this was an emotional attachment. They didn't get that closure. They do have the closure now, but what was taking place that you were not aware of is their family, friends, people that are very important to your, your partner, your ex, they were telling them, no, don't, don't, don't go with this person, you. And they were trying to push them to go back to the person that they left, the person they had not healed over. So they were in this tug of war internally, not standing up for what they really believed in, which was you. And they feel this now. They feel the, the regret of it. And they're coming into a place where they're getting ready to take action to stand up for what they want, to try to bring the relationship with you back together. Standing up to those people in their own personal environment. And it, you know, as a clarifier, is the fool card. This is about letting go and let God. This is about taking the action, the steps to move forward in your life, not knowing the outcome. They don't know what you're going to tell them, but they're willing to try. They're willing to do this because they truly, truly want you back in their life. So, yeah. So what they're telling me is they're healed there's still fear with them standing up to the people that they care about in their life, but they are coming into being able to take the action. They're not quite there yet. They still have some, uh, um, they have to get that courage up, that strength to move, to move forward and really embrace this because they, they may have gotten messages from the other side or just like they're very intuitive. Um, and they have this inner knowing. Hierophant, is, change is going to take place. Definitely change is coming for them and possibly for you. Now let's take a look at their hopes and fears. Oops, <laughs> I flipped right out. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Justice card. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is about putting the work in, putting a lot of hard work into something that you have um, a lot of faith, a lot of confidence in. And they're willing, they're hoping that you want to put the work into the relationship and the two of you start from the very beginning. So whatever took place in the past, they want to let go of that, okay? And they, they sincerely want a new beginning with you from the, like, 
how do you do? Let's start all over again. What they fear is the justice card. Now this is about karma. This is about the scales of karma being out of balance. They fear that you may not want to put the work in it and put it back into balance because when you first met, it felt like you were in balance. It felt really amazing. But what you didn't know is this. So they have to get this strength up to stand up to the people in their life to defend the relationship with you. And once they can do that, then they'll come forward for you. But right now, they're at that point where they want to actually tell their family and friends, hey, this is the person I love. I'm going to go get them. I want, to, I want them. I miss them. And they're just going to all of a sudden one day, hopefully not jump off the cliff, but they're just going to move forward absolutely towards you. So what we're going to look at right now is what is truly blocking them. And we're going to look at, at uh, the advice and the outcome. And we will also take a look at what is to come in the future, in the immediate future. So if you'd like to click the link below, that will shoot you over to Vimeo. And we can pick up where we left off. So I'll see you on the other side.